Hi guys, this is Spencer Hunt's wonderful wave driven boat. Um, I'm actually running some extra water in the bath now because I'm going to try and convert it to rubber band power. I'll just see if there's enough motion in the water to demonstrate. Yep, the little ripples at that end have been translated into motion on that. The boat vibrating up and down over the little ripples makes the paddles bounce up and down. And the resulting motion is forwards. It does actually build up quite a speed, as you can see. Anyway, I'm going to take the paddles off, put those arms on it, and see if we can put a rubber band on it. Right. So just a push fit at the moment. That might be a bad move. Um, the tension of the rubber band might make them pop out. They're also quite thin, so if I put too much tension on the rubber band then they'll just bend round so we'll try it anyway rubber bands in place I think these are going to be too weak but I don't want to put too much tension on it anyway we don't need it to go very far we just need it to go forwards as proof of concept as I like to say Bit of a pain to wind up to be honest. Not very many turns on there just to give us a idea of whether it will actually work. <laughs> well there we go rubber band powered boat. Although I probably ought to thicken up those arms. Spencer made them as thin as possible to keep it all lightweight for his wave power. That's about 70 turns. I'll point it over that way. It might, might hit the end and come round. It's a bit of a tight bend for it to get round. We'll launch it the opposite direction. got round the bend. I don't want to wind it up too far because it's going to collapse. I'll try and get a hundred turns on. Right, hundred turns. That'll do. We went round the bend. It obviously goes forwards pretty well. I'm pleased with that. Links in the video description to Spencer's uh, Thingiverse files so you can build the original flapper boat. And I'll consider putting the files for my modified rubber band version. <laughs> 